Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Random Call Sign. Welcome to a new video, and today it's going to be all about the competitive racing license of Project Cars 2. Everything I'm going to say here in this video is actually coming from the official document from Project Cars 2 and Slightly Mad Studio, so I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you want to check it out by yourself. At first glance, looking at the license and the numbers and the letters might seem a little bit overwhelming, but in reality, it's pretty simple to understand what's going on there once you understand the basics. So, a license is divided in three things, and when you look at the license, you'll see that it's divided by racecraft, then seniority, and lastly, skill. The racecraft part of it is the letter in the beginning of the license, and it's very simply a safety rating that you have. The starting safety rating is U, so you will be unclassed. And then the more you have clean races, it will progress naturally to other letters, starting from F, and then it goes to E, then D, then C, then B, then A, and lastly S, which is the top most safe rating you can have. To progress in your safety ratings, you need to complete uh, races and you need to complete them cleanly. That means you need to avoid crashes, you may not create ca crashes or be in the receiving end, unfortunately, of those uh, crashes. It works very similarly to iRacing with some differences there. So I can give you a few tips on doing so. If you're not too sure on the car and track, or even if you are sure on car and track, but you're not sure about the people you're racing against, give them a little bit of slack and give them a bit away. away. If they are aggressive, just you know avoid them, uh, try to put aside and let them go, because what you're trying to do in the beginning is getting your safety rating up. It's actually not getting your skill level up, and more on that a bit later. Also, join some leagues if you can. If you find good players, if I uh, find good race try to add them on Steam as well or if you're in PlayStation 4 or on Xbox try to add them as friends and try to do races with them even if you have like a small race with eight people it should be good enough to to get your safety rating up and that will help out you progressing in Project Cars 2 a yellow system next up is the number you'll see a number going from 100 to 5000 and that's your skill level. Skill level works pretty much the same way every skill level works in, for example, Overwatch. The lower the number, the worse the player, the bigger the number, the better the player. If you win against people with a higher level skill level than you, will raise your skill level yourself, and likewise it will be the inverse if you lose against people that have lower skill level. With both the safety rating and the skill, you can build a mental image of the type of driver you might encounter, so if you see somebody with a really Really low number like in the hundreds and then you have a U or F it most likely it's gonna be a wrecker if you have a person with a higher skill level and then a good safety rating like you know a C or a B or above you know most likely it will be a great driver and it'll try to do everything clean and likewise you can use this knowledge to search for better races online and you'll search for better lobbies with higher safety ratings and higher base skill levels. The last part of the license is the seniority and this is not the most important part. This is only calculated in terms of time and how much time you spend online in the game. So the longer you play you'll get to bronze, silver, gold and then if you play on pro level you'll get a red stripe in your license. As a last point, skill level will also grant you additional privileges in the esports component of Project Cars 2. With a skill level of 1000, you'll be able to join the Qualifier Series for Project Cars 2. With the skill level of 2000, you'll be able to do the Challenger Series. And if you have it uh, above a certain level, I believe it's 3000 and above, I might be incorrect in this, you'll be able to join every single series for Project Cars 2 esports component. So to recap, if you are in sort of ELO hell in Project Cars 2, the first thing you need to do is actually raise your uh, safety rating. In order to do so, unfortunately, it's sad to say you need to have clean races. And it's pretty hard to do so when you don't know your opponents. The best way to avoid it is, of course, ganging up with your friends, go into your own group, race against each other and your safety rating will be up. Or try to go into a league if you can. If you can't do those two things, the next thing is pretty simple as well. Just keep away from people even if it costs you skill level because the skill level frankly you can get it and you can train offline if you want and then you'll go back when you have a higher skill, a safety rating and you can race against other people. 
Once again, guys, uh, every information will be in the description below. There is a link to the official documents if you want to read it by yourself and maybe correct me. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to press like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time.